Hi guys, hey guys and everyone, welcome back yet again to another video you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. So yeah, if you're new here guys, Ikamala Mopapra and thank you so much. Uh, you're very, very welcome. If you're new, don't forget to support your sister by subscribing to the channel. Like the video guys, share the video and you know, yeah, I mean guys, uh, let us get down to today's video as uh, I just want to discuss uh, the proceedings guys when it comes to a Uman Pinja's funeral. Uh, as we all know guys, we can brother I passed away Umandla Mampinja. Mapumlu was a musician, you guys, and yeah, uh, he was a member of Epic Nas, you guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, so we've been watching guys since his solo, the memorial service, and today it was his funeral. So yeah, I mean, guys, I was looking at my clips on social media. Uh, yeah, I also watched it live, something like that too, guys. And I, I did upload just those clips, you know, just to update people. Because guys, I can't just upload. I want to upload daily. I will just have to, to, you know, to update. I want to maybe who just haven't seen it, something like that. So I uploaded those clips on my channel. You can watch that video, you guys. So I just wanted to speak about exactly the way uh, isn't those hambanga corner. Sometimes just have to you know just to discuss it and talk about i'm so happy uh, about isn't in lela and when isn't those hambanga corner guys we know good uh, <coughs> woman being he was married to upep so to more you guys and they were working together ah uh, they were working together so uh yeah man um so yesterday, the memorial service, we saw him and being a strong girl. She was really, she looked very strong. As people were saying, ah, we got a strong man. Maybe later, uh, you know, reality is just going to like kick in something like that. But yeah, she looked, she looked quite strong. I didn't expect that. Maybe that's why Tina said she looked strong because we didn't expect it. They could see some bona acting the way some bona corner and yeah, she was really like if we they were playing the big nas song, she would be dancing. You know, singing along into in guys like in or that even though people are just having a lot to say about her behavior yesterday with memorial service, seeing her the dancing Makoti, she's dancing like that instead of her being so like sitting down crying, like you know yeah, men guys as people we grieve. So I can't judge her for that, you guys. The uh, memorial services, or yeah, she was men. I really loved what I saw. And I can tell you, when it comes to the memorial services, or I just thought, you know, like if they, like when someone passes, if that person was a singer, if that person was a dancer, we should dance. If that person was, uh, you know. So, he was a singer, he was a musician, he was a performer, he was... So, that's what was happening yesterday, and his wife was also doing that. I think a lot of people were surprised because they were expecting the, the widow to be sitting there, like, mourning, and... But, you know, she preferred to just, you know, uh, mourn. As we said, you guys, we mourn in different worlds. I do agree, you guys. So, today, again, guys, it was uh, the... the the funeral service is i did up uh, and she looked i did upload now my clips now so i can just throw it in just in case you didn't see that video the a clip where um the coffin was uh, coming in but it is a dip in icc something like that if i'm not mistaken um yeah they said the dip in icc so they were walking in and so they were walking and you know family members and the fans and whatever you guys we saw when the coffin uh came through i'm just going to maybe like uh, uh, pause a little clip some way so that you can understand exactly what am i talking about like it was in the beginning of of the funeral service i guess we saw them walking in with oh brother umam pinja we can just go and watch that clip I get for lawyer to a hospital. Boba, no more Yeah, 
amen and then uh as i said we were just discussing uh, the proceedings within our service and then we saw i think the mc was already d cause out to do cause guys we know her from a uh, cause fm now tandem seven zika mom to do cause you guys she she's she's someone else man she's one of them you know yeah man so yeah she she uh, i think she's a she's the best so we saw his uh, master clearly pansy something like that and you know i can just throw maybe again the clip of what was happening we can just watch that clip uh, she was also speaking to babes and i saw her smile a little bit which was good you guys <laughs> There was a time when uh, there's a video that was played, I guess, when it comes to immemorial service, where like by a cool man, go to the moon to Ubani, Ubesens, and Nempilani, and all that. You guys, there's a time where like she, she really cried. As a lot of people were just saying, Good, wow, guys, people to me is so strong. Even me, I'm one of those people. She's strong, yes, guys, she was strong, but I think the moment, Leo. Uh, when, when when they explain exactly who was Uman Pinja, what was he to Ubesenza and Mpilweni, his career, his family, his kids, all that. I think, yeah, she got touched. We see her cry. Uh, even though, like, who's Bambili, guys? According to me, according to what I saw, I saw her really trying by all means to, to cry. And, like, uh, you know, but you know, guys, this was just a funeral, uh, so we see her like really like breaking down a little bit, crying, which is which is sad. Hey, okay, take it. Yeah, man, and then there's a part where I guess uh, she's given the chance to go and speak. Of which, I mean, I was expecting her maybe to have a little bit of speech in Yana written down so that, yeah, so that she can read. We see them most of, most of the times, but Pale Pansy, and then you just go up there and at least read. But then you know, I think she just wanted to speak her mind because. Yeah, she didn't just speak exactly the time she got there. She needed time. She needed time. And yeah, we are sure guys when you is strong, but it's in but at least she tried. She spoke, you guys, she spoke about her husband and she thanked whoever she she had to thank. And she also asked about DJ Tira when it comes to a music industry. No, you guys, but quick and I know seven you guys because we know Pip Sotum, she's also a singer, you guys, she's a performer, she's very good at what she does, you guys. Um yeah, I mean, she was groomed by her husband, so she was like, man, you guys, but yeah, she spoke. And yeah, I think people got laughing a little bit when she mentions, at least, uh, she first mentioned, at least he said, he loves me, you know, before he can go, which is really cute, you guys, but then she speaks about, about the phone issue, <laughs> she means she's good. Hey, I'm a daughter now. You guys, you know, men cheat you guys. It's not a bong, it's not a bong. I don't know, but yeah, she and good guys in the day, in the day, in the day, she told a man pinja left without even giving her that phone pin, you guys. So <laughs> the phone is lying there with Pepsi or Tumo, and she can't even open it. Uti hi, I'm going to get a pin. So I'm going to get a pin. So at least people got laughing a little bit, you guys. Get like I'm going to no more show anyway, you guys, because yeah, she said something lavishas really. Uti, imagine your partner leaving you with a phone that you can't even unlock. 
because good nepin iloki we so yeah I mean I I understand I understand you guys and then she got people laughing a little bit but yeah in the like guys now ah 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 explain ang ayo in pilu ya ke noma pinch or something like that uh, yeah I mean uh she she spoke you guys I think she spoke well she tried her best and then after that um zinjabong anazo zuri ngatin. But see, in the love, now we as una manga, eh, a manga nant. Jara de Rushus Bo, em, ain't to win Zak and Josok Trina, a wash on your young hand. I think that's why I'm clapping you strong, Angie. Eh, and gum pony, and gum pony, and gum pony, and as a calumnies, that's why I was on pony moon, Yabonga, believe. But yeah, in the Arai, also I have been having a knees and a pinna key phone. I go over my toast. Manson looking ye book, looking in a macon long ye one was we fool. But the guys fell in the tin daughter, I kin the thing a cheaty, I kin the thing a gang. I question. Sampi banga kuluma, ageko tando kulum, tando kulum says, gavu nga kul kazi kulum kulan busi sing bonga no government sabonga ma ba sabonga na usiswam nige nzo na gabani looking go inside kulum kulan busi. Hallelujah. Asim shali izantu makoto kama shiman. Ah, wasim shali izantu inkulu. Yeah, man. And then there's a part where I guess uh, she's given the chance to go and speak. Of which, I mean, I was expecting her maybe to have a little bit of speech nyana written down so that... Yeah, so that she can read. We see them most of most of the times about Pale Pansy and then you just go up there and at least read. But then you know, I think she just wanted to speak her mind because yeah, she didn't just speak exactly the time she got there. She needed time. She needed time. And yeah, we are sure to guys when you is strong, but but at least she tried. She spoke you guys, she spoke about her husband and she thanked whoever she she had to thank and she also asked about DJ Tira when it comes to a uh, music industry. No, you guys but quick and I you guys because we know Pip Sotum she's also a singer, you guys, she's a performer, she's very good at what she does, you guys. Um yeah, I mean, she was groomed by her husband, so she was like, man, you guys, but yeah, she spoke. And yeah, I think people got laughing a little bit when she mentions, at least, uh, she first mentioned, at least he says, he loves me, you know, before he can go, which is really cute, you guys, but then she speaks about, about the phone issue, <laughs> she means she's good. Hey, I'm a daughter now. You guys, you know, men cheat you guys. It's not a bong, it's not a bong. I don't know, but yeah, she and good guys in the time, in the time, in the time, she told a man pinja left without even giving her that phone pin, you guys. So <laughs> the phone is lying there with Pepsi or Tumo, and she can't even open it. Uti hi, I'm going to get a pin. So I'm going to get a pin. So at least people got laughing a little bit, you guys. Get like I'm going to get a no more show anyway, you guys. Because yeah, she said something. La fish is really good. Imagine your partner leaving you with a phone that you can't even unlock. Because good ne pin ilo kiwe. So yeah, I mean, I I understand. I understand you guys. And then she got people laughing a little bit. But yeah, in the like guys now uh 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 explain an ayo in pilu ya ke noma pinch or something like that. Uh yeah, I mean uh she she spoke you guys, I think she spoke well. She tried her best and then after that, um <laughs> I mean, sorry, and then uh, let us just uh, talk about the fact that Esugalapo, we saw her going straight. This part I really, really loved. 
I really, really loved this part when she left and went straight to Mom Pincha's mother. That moment was just so cute for me to watch. Remember, guys, we've been talking about the drama between Pepso Tumu and her mother-in-law. And all, during her speech, she mentioned to Yam Kolela, Umama, Umama, Umama Kumete, which is Mom Pincha's mother, you guys. Um, so after the speech, then she goes straight to her mother-in-law. They hugged, they kissed, and... I I wish in a pair of a pair of little pair, but cover the guys will not go and look so. I mean, such an issue. You know that moment for me was just so cute, man. No. Imagine his father is no more, no longer here. So he needs his granny, you know, he needs his granny. So when the EP is no go for me, it's just, it's just, it's a good thing. It's a good move. We saw that clip where they say this outside the funeral funeral parlor where people were just fighting. Hey, why is that? No, mama, I'm a man. I'm going to stuff like that. I'm going to go to the funeral parlor. I'm going to go to the parlor. There was just, you know, like horrible, horrible drama when it comes to me. But when I see today them making peace, I thought, guys, that moment was really cute, hey? It was really cute. You saw yourself from that video. That is her mother-in-law, guys. She went to hug and kiss. That is Mampinja's mother, the woman whom she's never really, like, got along with. They've been fighting up and down again ever since. But I see them, like, trying to make peace. As she said on her speech, because something like that. And I'm sure Umama and I are Whatever happens between them, you guys, imagine you guys, because she really need, needed to make peace with her mother, and which was so cute for me, you guys. So yeah, I mean, uh, this was happening uh, during the funeral service, you guys. I don't want to say much and end up like uh, lying, but I'm just discussing whatever happened during the memorial service, you guys. Oman Pincha was laid to rest today. Um, yeah, someone was talking about how they were wearing a white. Because, yeah, people would, would first tried to drag peeps for wearing a white dress when I was going on social media. But I think there was a reason, hey, because we saw, we see Otira, we see even Pips' uh, father, even my... Uh, guys, now let me say, camera is very young. Yeah, I was talking about how we saw them wearing a white, which means I think there was a reason. Uh, even though I forgot to just go and find out the reason of wearing a white which is, uh, I, uh, if they, they have a reason to, to be dressed white, we usually on this trail, we want to be okay, all black, but I see them wearing white, even Mampinja's father, they were just wearing white suits, Nayo Pep, she was wearing in, she was in all white, so I'm sure there's a reason, I think I hate it some way though, I'm sorry for not really, uh, like, searching about, someone spoke about the reason why they were wearing white, I'm sorry you guys, I didn't really, um, uh, you know, go and read about that. But yeah, they had a reason. Obviously, all white, you guys. I'm sure there is a reason. Uh, we're gonna go and find out exactly why they decided to wear white instead of black. Instead of tracking about you guys, we first have to understand which why. You know, I think people are talking just because they are used to people wearing all black. But in this case, people were wearing white. Some of them were wearing black. But white, white, they were wearing white, especially here, the widow and the family and stuff. You guys, yeah, man, it, it was really good. Uh, I, I saw everything going well. And then I saw someone speaking about Mampija's mother's grand entrance. You guys, <laughs> you know, they were talking about Mama, she's always late in everything. So, but hey, why late? Mama, I'm shut to any memorial service. She was late, and I'm cool. Mela, Mama, so I saw her today coming late again. So, someone was saying, I, 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 Mama, I'm cool. Mela, but lent her a grand entrance. I, I can't get it. I'm getting so power like a lap for you guys. She also came. <clears throat> a bit late and then she went in there but in good time there's just peace between her and Makotwaki we see them you know everything is was just cool according to me I'm into a wrong you guys I really hope 
uh, oh brother can just rest in peace you guys i just wanted to come with an update when it comes to a uh, put my picture because we've been reporting you know guys ever since he passed and then we've been reporting reporting so i guess update when it comes to the funeral service of which he was laid to rest in amslan jiba fredu yeah i mean that do comment down below you guys uh then your thoughts and your opinions as you watch the clips and everything and then like the video before you go subscribe if you haven't subscribed for your sister you guys i'll meet you again um,